everyone. A few of you asked me to make a tutorial how I made an asteroid scheme with uh, GPT-4 and uh, using my own AI generating textures. So I thought I will make one for you. So first of all, please uh, head to my website chris.art and I made an, a helper for you. So if you come here, find uh, Make Games with GPT-4 Asteroids in Open Processing. And if you click, I made this um, just to help you with prompts and everything. So first of all, we are going to ask GPT-4 to generate code for us. And it will take a little bit of time. So while it will be doing this, we are going to do some other things. So go to GPT-4 and make sure the model is GPT-4. Also, it's as long as I know, it's only a paid version that gives you GPT-4 right now. And then you can copy paste this prompt. So what this prompt says is um, write P5 JavaScript code uh, for asteroids where you control a spaceship with the mouth and shoot asteroids with the left click of the mouth. If your spaceship collides with an asteroid, you lose. If you shoot down all asteroids, you win. I want to use my own textures for the spaceship and for asteroids. I also mentioned the size of my textures because usually uh, it wouldn't know and sometimes it would just upload all the textures and they would be too big. Make sure to resize them in code to fit the game. And you know, the more detailed is your um, prompt, the better it is. But it's usually quite difficult to kind of um, predict what kind of things GPT-4 will misunderstand. So um, we will be just ready that it probably won't work from first try and we'll, we'll keep asking it to fix it. So while this is uh, generating, let's go back to my page and I, I offer you three prompts. Um, two of those I actually really like. Those are my like favorite go-to game asset prompts. Of course, you can ask GPT-4 to generate some assets for you. And that's actually really fun if you will do that. And I'll show you at the end how you can ask GPT-4 to do it. But I already prepared those. And what I find, usually my prompts are a little bit better than GPT-4 because GPT-4 is a language model, um, or, or at least the version I have, it still doesn't really have image uh, part. Um, and I will just generate assets uh, here in mid journey. So I'll just copy paste them and I'll generate them here. And as you can see, to just save time, I already pre-generated them. So second thing, I'm going to save them. So I'll save those images. Um, I will make a new folder and I will call it um, tutorial. and um, I'll save an asteroid image, then I will save the spaceship image, and I will save the background image. And I will open it in browser to make it just large. And now let's keep checking if um, GPT-4 is still thinking. Um, at some point it will stop generating and probably it won't be finished. So we will need to type continue so it would continue. But it's still thinking and I will just go back um, to open processing. And open processing is a nice platform. It's very easy to use where you can just copy paste your code. And uh, if you use something else, it's totally fine. This tutorial is just for complete beginners. And if you've never ever wrote a single line of code, open processing is just very easy to use. You can create yourself an um, account and then create sketch over here in top right corner. 
And here one important thing is that before you continue, you actually need to save it first. And I will call it tutorial asteroid and submit. Uh, and then you will get this. It's like a test project, which you don't really need. And if you go at the top, like right here where it says code, I'm going to just make it bigger and say code, you can go, go back and just delete this code. If you go to clip drop, it's a great free website where you can get rid of the background because the assets we have right now, they all have backgrounds and we need them to be transparent. So I will go to tutorial folder and here we have two assets. We need to clean our background, uh, which is a spaceship. And if we just drag it here, it works automatically, which is like magic. I absolutely love it. And then to just press download and save us and make sure you save it here. What I like doing so I don't get confused. I will just replace my asset with this one transparent one. And I will do exactly the same thing with um, my uh, asteroid. So here it goes. And yes, and download. And again, save us. And I'm going to replace this with my asset. So now we have two assets. Um, I'm going to go to the folder and just check them. Um, GPT games, tutorial. I'll just check them and see, yes, it's, it's cut out and it's, it's great. But also you remember how when we asked GPT-4, we promised it that we will have textures of this size. If we don't write it, what happens sometimes because it doesn't know texture sizes, what it would do, it would just use those large textures and then the game won't work. It will be just this huge, huge asteroids and a very large uh, spaceship. So I'm going to just change size so it's a little bit easier for it. And there is a website called birma.net. It's also free. Um, I'll just move myself here and uh, browse from computer. And I'm going to just uh, open this files here. And I will choose width and height to 512 to 512. And I will say save files. So now they are much smaller. So it finished generating, so we will just copy this code, copy code, and go to tutorial and just paste it. And then we will um, copy the last tiny bit of the code. Let's see. Okay. And we know that it finished because it says that it's finished. Control V. And here, uh, remember just one more time, you need to save this project first before being able to drop files. Uh, otherwise, it doesn't let you drop files. So I already renamed files to asteroid and spaceship um, to make it easier for me to type. And then I will just upload them here and make sure that um, I change the names, I change the path to spaceship and asteroid like this and let's see what happens so here as you can see this is not bad but there are a few things that we need to fix first one that the bullets stay on the screen and second one that um, I don't want this to be moving and also asteroids are kind of disappearing after flying for a little bit they are just they are just disappearing sometimes. So we are going to go back to uh, ChatGPT and fix all those things. All right. And here we are. It is working. It is working really strangely because 
you have to like almost run away from asteroids and it just um, leaves those dots on the screen so we are going to ask ChatGPT to fix it we will say I would like the spaceship stand still um, stand be fixed maybe be fixed in the middle and rotate with the mouth and I'd like the bullets not to stay on the screen so again it generated the code that we asked for and it hasn't finished so I'm typing again continue it sounds a little bit tedious but uh, sometimes it works almost right away and sometimes it takes a little bit of uh, working on it so let's do it um, let's just copy this code and it it rewrote entire code so i will just copy paste it i will go to tutorial and i will just delete it and paste it again um, you can either do it this way or if you really want to learn more about programming you can always ask um, to explain it to you or to write comments it's it's a very good way to to learn and here I'm just going to change my path asteroid png and see what happens so now now we are talking now this is exactly what we want and it's actually working really perfectly and it's not leaving any bullets and it works great the only thing we need to change is to add the back background because we generated it but we didn't ask chat gpt to do it um, add the background as one texture that is stretched no tiles just one single texture Thank you. So here we will just do what it asks us to do. And while it's generating, let's go to our project and that just select um, select the background to make sure this it's here. And let's see. So you see here, we already have those functions, load image, asteroid, and spaceship. So we are just loading the background texture. So we will copy this and we'll add it right here. And second part, it says we need to change setup. let's see because it seems like it's the same isn't it yeah the setup is the same so we don't really have to change it um, but we do need to add draw this so sometimes it would it would draw entire like thing it says it's unchanged but let me see because i feel like this is it this is the this is the only code it changed it added image over here but i may be wrong because i did look um, very carefully so in draw instead of this background we will just add this and let's see what happens so yes it worked and we have our perfect asteroid game.